It is our two here on K Pop, and in just a few moments, we're going to help you win some prizes for our K Pop MVP. So stay tuned for that. Our giveaway is RP's Not For Sale signed CD. RP was in the studio yesterday. We had an amazing time, and we are going to get a chance to give this to you. So if you want RP signed CD, get ready for our K Pop MVP with Tim and Cohen in just a few moments. In the meantime, let's start off our second hour with FX singing Four Walls. First place to listen to the hottest K-pop, K-popping with DJ Isa. K-pop MVP. It's time for us to test your K-pop knowledge with our K-pop MVP, and our giveaway today is RP Sign CD. Here to help you win, we've got Tam and Cohen in the studio. Hi! Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Hello! hello. 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 <laughs> it is officially winter! Yes! Oh, yes! So cold. Yes. It's almost my birthday. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Cohen, when's your birthday? Um, December 28th. Still, <laughs> still do you alive. do your parents give you Christmas and yeah. birthday presents yes, together? Yes, yes, oh, yes, lucky. I no, I feel so bad for that. Why? Because people who have Christmas birthdays, they're like, okay, no separate gifts, only one this oh, year. Oh yeah, oh really? Yeah, they, they mix them together. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, they're like, we don't. They don't have two parties. It's like Christmas slash birthday yes. birthday party. Oh yeah. Oh okay, twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. Okay. Well, we'll remember that. Yes. We'll remember that. Okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs> we'll try to remember that. All right. So, uh, Tim, you look all bundled up and nice. Yes. It's been so cold lately. <laughs> yeah. And I just don't like the cold. Aww. Even I'm wearing this. It's so cold. <laughs> I'm like freezing. You're still very much California girl. Yes, I mm. think so. I don't think that can change. No, it does. Really? Yeah. I've changed. Cool. <laughs> I like winter. Really? I'm a winter person. Maybe I need like a few more years. <laughs> uh, I, I've gotten used to it. All right. So today we're giving away RP Science CD. It's Ooh. it's printed not for sale on the album. So this is a really big giveaway because Ooh, nice. it's, there's literally not for sale. So uh, that's what we're going to be giving away today. Today we're actually going to be talking about artists that have been around for about five years. Mm-hmm. So... Um, when it comes to artists who are around five years, so normally they say there's this ratio of it takes at least three years for a group to actually get their first number one hit, mm-hmm. right? Some of the artists, they can get their first number one hit when they first debut, but they say on average, it takes mm-hmm. about three to four years yeah, for right. a company to actually get that team mm-hmm. to get, you know, to the number one status, like right. get their name out there. To quote survive, right? So uh, once uh, a lot of celebrities hit that five year mark, mm-hmm. sometimes there's a lot of things that happen. Mm-hmm. Um, if we go back to our first generation artist, around that fifth year mark, that's when they started disbanding. Right, mm-hmm. fourth to fifth year mark. But I remember right, so Tiji and Boys, I think they like disbanded like three and a half years after they debuted. Mm-hmm. So really short, yeah, compared to our idols now, because right. like Big Bang has been going for like eight years. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Super Junior just celebrated, what, their 10-year anniversary? (gasps) So um, there's a lot of artists that have been around for a while. So we're looking at some artists that Mm -hmm. have been around for about five years now. So let's see here. Five-year idol. Who do you guys can think of, like, off the top of your head? Um, 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 um. I think of Miss A. Shiny. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Infinite. FX. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sistar. Oh, Oh, really? really? Yeah. It's been oh. that long? Yeah. 
if you think about it, it actually hasn't been that long. Oh. With the amount of hit songs they have. Right. Oh. See in blue. Or around, oh, the other, right. around that time. Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at some artists that have kind of um, surpassed that five-year mark or mm-hmm. they're at that five-year mark and they're still going strong. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is if you know your artist from about five years ago, mm-hmm. so for the past five years, uh, they've been doing very well and you've followed them since their debut days, you're actually probably going to get a chance to win a lot of prizes today, nice. which is our RP Science CD. So, nice. what we're going to do is jump into our K-pop MVP for today. And the first question is Tem's, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Tem, take it away. Okay, so this has to do with the group Infinite. Okay. Mm. And you have to pick the song that is not by Infinite. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So I have to think of a song is not for... Yes. That's not theirs. Yeah. Okay. So the choices are, one, bad, two, Kojimar. Lies, three, Neko Haja, be mine, and four, back. Hmm. Okay. One more time? Yes. Okay, so you have to pick the song that is not by Infinite. And the choices are one, bad, two, Kojimar, lies, three, Neko Haja, be mine, and four, back. Mm hmm. Oh, it's similar with the previous yeah. one. Like last week. Last week. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's a hit. <laughs> so if you listen to our uh, K-pop MVP last week, uh-huh. yeah, very similar. Mm. Very similar. Oh, that's a nice hint, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for some of you who probably have w- wondered, uh, mm-hmm. Infinite's company has merged with another company, right. and mm. so uh, they are. They, I think they've actually gotten a lot more, you know, support. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks to that. Yeah. Like the company mm-hmm. has grown, obviously. Right. So. There's a lot more variety for them to experience. Yes. Hmm. Mm. I think so. Yeah. But I think when it comes to Infinite, the, from their debut, mm-hmm. they were such a like a strong team. I really liked them when they first debuted. Yeah. They really did stand out. Mm-hmm. Like when mm-hmm. they for debuted. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember, actually. Uh, really? Yeah. Well, oh. five years ago for hers. Okay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Since she's still in high school. Right. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I was in junior high, I loved, like, you know, looking at the charts, but I never, like, memorized all the artists that were on the charts at the time. Right. You know? I don't think I even listened to, like, K-pop when I was in junior high. Oh, I did. I did. I was like the only person in my school that listened to K-pop. Really? Oh. Every time they were, they brought, they had us bring like open music. We had open music uh-huh. every once in a while, and like our teachers would let us bring whatever kind of music we wanted wow. to listen to. And yeah, I was known for being like the odd girl out because I always brought K-pop CDs. They're oh. like, oh. <laughs> really? And like some of my teachers, since I went to private school, they're uh-huh. just like, are you sure this is appropriate for school? And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> No bad words. Trust me. <laughs> no bad words. Not like they know. <laughs> That's why they're like, we don't know what yeah. it is. And like, trust me, no. It's huh. a song about love. And they're like, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, a lot of songs about love do have harsh words in them. <laughs> I'm just like, no. <laughs> I think I only listened to like G.O.D. during my junior high days. Oh. I think that was like, because that was the only CDs that my mom bought me. <laughs> <laughs> From Korea. Okay. I, think, <laughs> so, I think it was bringing her inner G.O.D. Yeah, fandom out. My mom mm-hmm. loves G.O.D. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's go back to question number one. And we're talking about Infinite. So yes. give us the question again. You have to pick the song that is not by Infinite. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the choices are, one, bad. Two, Kojimar, lies. Three, Neko Haja, be mine. And four, back. Well, I just refreshed the page and like I just got a big wave of all these answers. It surprised me. <laughs> Last time I was looking at the page, there was only high messages for you, beautiful ladies. But then all of a sudden, it was like, "Go oh, question! I know the answer." <laughs> <laughs> Lots of enthusiasm today. I'm loving nice. the enthusiasm. Uh, thank you. Yay. Yay. You're welcome. 
All right, so thank you so much for the enthusiasm. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, RP Science CD is going out to unlucky MVP for today if you get all four questions correct. Yes. Now, let me give you the rules before we go in because the rest of the rules, Colin's going to take over. Mm-hmm. There are four questions. All four of the answers have to be correct. We yes. also give you song breaks in between those questions, and uh, you have the entire song break to change or send in more answers. Mm-hmm. So remember that everything is sent in before the song is over. Right. And give us the question and the choices one more time, and then we're going to go into our first song break. Okay, so the question is, which song is not a song by Infinite? Okay. Yes. And the choices are, one, bad, two, Kojimar lies, three, Neko Haja, be mine, and four, back. Okay. Mm. Uh, what we're going to do is take a listen to an infinite track. This is actually not going to help you because it's not one of the choices. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Man in Love, Namja ga Sarang and we'll see you guys back after this with the answer and question number two. infinite songs kind of have like that you listen to the title and you're uh-huh. like oh I know this song uh, yes. yes so it yes. should have been pretty easy for some of our listeners who mm-hmm. know a little bit about infinite or you just love K-pop in general yes. yeah. so what was the answer Tim the answer was number two is wrong called in my life yes. yeah Less. Same yeah. answer as last week. Yes. yes. Big Bang song. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kuhn, for that. Ever so sweet. And GOD songs, too. Yeah, yeah. and GOD song, like I said. Yeah. <laughs> going back way too far, yeah. <laughs> generation wise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what we're going to do is move on to question number two. two. And this is Kuhn's question. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so Kuhn, what are our listeners doing? You can listen to two different clips, and one is a hard one, and, and the other is an easy one, so you should figure out the song's title and the artist. Okay, okay, so song, title, and artist has mm-hmm. to be correct for yeah. you to continue on to question number three. Mm-hmm. All right. So, let's take a listen to the hard clip. Hands up in the sky, we can do get down. Hands up in the sky, we can do get down. This is easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I did what the song said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did what the song said. <laughs> This is I didn't know that there side. was that part. I didn't know that that was a part of the song. Really? Wow. Our producer's amazing. She always finds <laughs> these really unique <laughs> parts of the song that I didn't even realize existed. Yeah. I know this song, but I didn't know that there was that part. Uh, Tem thinks it's super easy. I think it's super easy. Okay. Cool one? Mm-hmm. Easy? No. Not. It's confused. Oh, it's a little confusing. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's a little confusing. Yeah. I cannot match the title in this part. Ah, the right. title. Yeah. Do you think you know who the artist is? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So Kwon thinks she knows who the artist is, mm-hmm. but she's kind of confused as to the the title, the title of the song. Yeah. Right? Maybe it's because this team tends to have very similar sounding songs. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. A lot of their hits do sound right. very similar. But they're a very upbeat team. Yes, very. Very upbeat. Uh, yeah. Known for their in sync choreography. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, especially with like their recent track. Uh-huh. Like their feet were going all over the place. Yeah. But they were in sync. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah you know how much they practice when that happens. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're always like that, though. Yeah. Like with every song that yeah. they come out with. When, ever since they first debuted, mm-hmm. like I remember that they were very in sync. Yes. Mm-hmm. With their choreography. And very yeah. active. Oh. Like, all of their songs were, like, really very active. busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, really. <laughs> to the point where you were worried how they were going to sing yeah. live. Mm-hmm. But they, they know, they're very good at singing yeah. live, though. They're, they're very, very good, good at singing good. live. Yeah. Very good at singing live. When I first saw the team debut... Oh, this is a giveaway, though. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say it. Uh, <laughs> I will say it now. I will say it now. There's one later. member that stood, stood out a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And he's still known, probably. I think this team and is still known for him. We talked about him before, too. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Okay, we'll give you that hint a little bit later. It's, yeah. I think it's too early on yes. Yes. in the question to uh-huh. give them a hint. <laughs> All right, okay. so, uh, cool, and we're on question number two. This is your question. Yes. So, what are our listeners doing? You can listen to two different clips, mm-hmm. and one is a hard one. This time, you can listen to the hard one, mm-hmm. and the other is an easy one. So, you should figure out the song's title and the artist. Okay. Whoa, our listeners are already sending in the right answer. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Wow. 
true fans indeed. All right, wow. let's take a listen to the hard clip one more time. Hands up in the sky, we can do get down. Hands up in the sky, we can do get down. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I want oh. to listen to an easy one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to the easy one. Yeah. I think that's gonna probably give it give away. It away. Yeah. But well, that's the whole point of our question number two. Mm-hmm. The second hint, the easy one, is literally a giveaway. A giveaway. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to all of our uh, music questions, especially mm-hmm. for our question number twos, for every single week, yeah. If there's an English title and a Korean title that are different, so let's mm-hmm. say they don't necessarily translate mm-hmm. into one another, as long as it's correct and we have the official English name, name yes. that you guys got correct, then it's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can send in both. You can send in one or the other. Mm-hmm. Don't feel burdened to type in Korean if your keyboard doesn't allow you to type mm-hmm. in Korean. Yeah. So uh, give us the Korean or English title. Just make sure that it is right. And, of course, yes. you have to include the artist name as well. So question number two. We are finished <laughs> with the hard clip clips <laughs> I was trying. I was at a loss of words. Thank you for that. <laughs> we just finished that hard clip. And now it's time for the easy one. Yes. Yeah. Okay, is everybody Let's ready? Go. Yes. Let's go. Oh, oh there you go. Kevin <laughs> and Cohen, like, with their backs to the camera, start doing the choreography, too. <laughs> wow, that was unexpected. Yeah. See, th- this week I'm not, I'm not the one that was dancing. These two are the ones that are mm, dancing. It just kind of, <laughs> yeah. it just, you just have to. I, I just, I, I followed the dance before oh. one, one time, but it was really hard. Ah. Yeah. It was really tiring. It's really it was, tiring. Mm-hmm. I should move my fit. I can't even. <laughs> I would fall. Yeah. <laughs> Girls, if you want to do like some serious cardio, yeah. do their song. Like, oh, do yeah. a cover of their song. Uh, and yeah. You'll be like, after three minutes, you're like, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's not just this song. Like, all almost their songs. all of their songs. Right. Even their ballads. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just. Ugh, man. I think their choreography has it in for them. <laughs> Maybe their choreographer just really likes them, like, sweating. <laughs> maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, right. Maybe. Maybe. Right. And, it's beca- and I think this is why they're just so darn skinny. Mm. Oh, yeah, maybe. They've got, like, chicken legs. They're so skinny. They're so yeah. tiny. They're so tiny. Yeah. Chopsticks. Yeah. And I, and I, and I, I bet it's because of their choreography. Mm. It's like, think about maybe. it. They do, like, three of their songs back to back to back. They probably, like, Lose, die. Like, Uh, I would love to see them in concert though I think it would be quite interesting to see them perform (gasps) that would be insane yeah that would be insane they need to have like good breathing techniques oh yeah for a concert Mm. yeah with all those songs songs. (laughs) with that choreography exactly (laughs) really tired like all of their even their ballads have that kind of choreography (laughs) there's no break time for them they need to they need to call like six guests. Yeah. One guest in between each song. Yeah. yeah. So they can rest. <laughs> so they can rest for at least oh, three minutes. That's oh, good. That's not the bad idea. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're gonna take a listen to the easy clip one more time. We're on question number two. It's Kwon's question, and yes. she's in charge of our music question. So mm-hmm. uh, she's having you send in the name of the artist and the title of the song as well. So mm-hmm. let's take a listen to the easy clip one more time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's because they have the same producing team. They have like, yeah. very similar songs. But it worked. Yes. Whatever yeah. works. Okay. So back to that one member. If yeah. you still can't figure out what team it is, mm-hmm. he's known <laughs> for his lips. Ah, yeah. I swear, when he first debuted, I was just like, if I were to be reborn and I can choose a feature that I wanted, I want his lips. I, <laughs> <laughs> I want his lips. Wow, those lips are... Well, because Tim, you've got pretty thick lips. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, thicker than mine. Yeah, I can never... Mine. No. I See, both of you have some type of red lipstick on. I can never do red lipstick. I'll look like... 
It's just, yeah, it's weird. It's <laughs> awkward. <laughs> oh. Red lipstick does not go on my lips. No, 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 no. Yeah, so huh. if I mm. were to ever be reborn in, or if I could choose to have a feature enhanced, I think that would be my lips. Mm. I would, yeah, me too, but not like his. Yeah, he's got some pretty <laughs> big lips. Those are. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a big hint. So that's a big hint. Yeah. Yeah. And what we're going to do is actually take a quick song break so our listeners can t- continue to send in the answers. It mm-hmm. looks like all of you are getting the right answer, so I don't think anybody needs to change it. Yes. But what we're going to do is take a listen to a track that's three minutes, 30 seconds long. So if you mm-hmm. want to send in more of the answers or maybe change it, you can do so. Just make sure that it's done before then. RP Science CD is going out today. Uh, we've got uh, an artist that featured Doki on the track and it the title of the song is Love Killer Mutin Yazan. We'll see you guys back after this with the answer in question number three. All right, so just by listening to that artist, I don't think I even need to give him his name. Yes, you yeah. know which team we were talking about. That was Neil. Mm-hmm. And that was the guy with the lips that we were talking about. The lips. <laughs> Lip dude. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hey, the reason why is, like, my friends, even who are not into K-pop, mm-hmm. when they see, like, this team on the channel, they're like, oh, mm-hmm. hey, it's the lip dude. Yeah. No. Yeah, they That's recognize the, him. Because of the lips? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> when... He, Infinite first debuted. Mm-hmm. Tongyu, his eyes were the oh, one yeah. that stood out. So, uh, yeah. all right. So, Kwon, yeah. what was the answer? It was uh, Changnan Anya by mm-hmm. Tinta. Yep, Yay. Rocking by Tinta. That was the mm. English title. Mm-hmm. All of our listeners got the answer correct. So, we're wow. on a great roll. So, so far, uh, all of our listeners are in a winning streak for nice. questions number one and questions number two. Yeah. Now, we're moving on to question number three. And this is what happened a few weeks ago. Some mm-hmm. of our listeners thought it was way too easy. And you <laughs> thought that we would be crazy enough to give you times table. Yes. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no times. <laughs> no multiplication. <laughs> Just adding and subtracting. Yes. Plus and minus. Plus minus. That's mm-hmm. all we do. Mm-hmm. If it's easy, you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Complete opposite of what your math teacher told you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if you are <laughs> getting it right, it's too easy. Mm-hmm. You are on the right path. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Since we're talking about artists who have been around for about five years now, mm-hmm. uh, if you've been in the K-pop scene for about five years, then you probably know who these artists are. So that should help with question number three. So, Kwon. Yes. Are... <laughs> Dreaded <laughs> yes. math question. Yes. Please give math. us the equation. Yes. Infinite members minus sister members mm-hmm. plus missing members hmm. equal. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You can use only fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not that hard. Yes. Yeah. Not that hard. I don't think it's that hard. Yeah. So, what is the equation again? Yes. Infinite members minus star members plus missing members. Hmm. Okay. So, remember, the minus comes first. Yes. Yeah. Minus plus. Minus plus. Mm-hmm. Minus comes first. Then and the then plus. the plus. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Do I need to say the story again? Is yeah. That gonna, is that going to confuse the listeners? No, no, no. no. Okay. It's similar with the last yeah. weeks. Okay. I'll give it to you this way. Um, so, Infinite was chilling out behind stage. Yeah. And then, four of them went to go see Sistar. Because they came. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And then, four of them came back saying that Missy came. Did that make sense? That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Four yeah. left to go say hi. And then they came back. Exactly. To say <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh. Exactly. That, that makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Because if I said it the other way around, it's going it to be... Make yeah, sense. It wouldn't make Yeah, it would make sense. And it would be a completely right. different equation. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So, like I said, mm-hmm. Infinite was chilling out in, like, you know, the recording and uh all of a sudden they uh heard that sister came and so uh four of the members went to go say hi 
And then <laughs> those four members came back and said, oh, hey, Miss Stacy's here too. <laughs> oh. Okay, Kuhn's still not getting it. So yeah, yeah. I think I should stop because there might be some <laughs> listeners that are like Kuhn and they're like, what is she saying? So I apologize if you guys don't get it. Um, so uh, give us the equation again so I don't start making yeah, okay. them send in wrong answers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Kuhn, give us the equation. Okay. Infinite members minus the star members plus Miss Say members. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me tell you this. When I first saw the equation, I got it wrong. Really? Because I looked at it differently. Because mm. I was just looking at the equation. Mm-hmm. I looked at the plus. I thought the plus came first and minus. Uh, so I was like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I was like, that, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. the minus, is, then the plus. Yes, minus first, then plus. Yes. Nah. Yeah, minus first, then plus. Mm-hmm. So don't do what I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which is kind of pretty much the same, but mm-hmm. yeah, me being very bad at math, I always get these things wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so cool. Mm. Give us the equation one more time. Okay. Infinite members mm-hmm. minus the star members mm-hmm. plus Miss A members. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, already our listeners are getting the right answer, so nice. thank goodness I didn't confuse anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. I apologize if I did a confuse any of you i really do Mm -hmm. so that was our equation uh we normally like doing these equations because it does give us a little bit of help when it comes to the knowledge of our favorite Mm -hmm. k-pop celebrities and it does work our brain just a little bit Mm -hmm. so uh let's give them the equation one more time uh let's repeat it twice and then we'll go into our next song break so go on could you please repeat it for us infinite members minus the star members plus miss say members Mm -hmm. okay all right. It's a little bit easy because they are all popular. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very popular teams. Um, you don't necessarily need your toes today. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. all on fingers. Yeah. yeah. All on fingers. Uh, let's give them the equation one more time. Yes. And then we're going to go into the song break. Okay. Infinite members mm-hmm. minus the star members mm-hmm. plus Miss A members. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is take a quick sister song break. Uh, continue to send in your answers to question number three. Remember, our Peace Science CD is going out today. And uh, for those of you who get all four questions mm-hmm. correct, you might be this week's winner. So Ooh. good luck. We're almost there. Sister Sing and I swear, and we'll be back after this with the answer to question number three and question number four. Mm. All right. Yeah, it's been a while since we listened to that song. Yes. It's always good to listen to some sister dance tracks. Yes. yes. Okay, so cool. Yeah. With our ever so easy equation, <laughs> could you give us the equation yeah. again with the amount of members and then the answer? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Seven uh-huh. minus four plus four. And the answer was seven. Yeah. Yay. So okay, then when I did and thought that everything was plus, I was just like, wait, why is it seven? <laughs> Shouldn't it be more than seven? Yeah. But yeah, I wasn't looking at the minus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, so far, our listeners are on a really good roll. So wow. I remember a few weeks ago, we were really bummed because all of our listeners were doing an yes. amazing job. Mm-hmm. But with the times that they got mixed up yeah. and they're like, this is too easy. And so, yeah. We saw a lot of our listeners kind of fall short yeah. at question number three. But this week, we're seeing a lot of our listeners coming up to question Ooh. number four. So with our last question, if you get this right, then you actually can walk away today with our Peace Sign CD. Yay. So fourth question, Tem. All yes. right. You ready? Last question. Okay. Okay. So the last question has to do with CM Blue. Okay. Ooh. And this is kind of tricky mm-hmm. to explain. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you have to pick the wrong match 
between the members and the drama drama they were in. Okay, yes. so you would have to either know the K dramas very mm-hmm. well, or you or. would have to know the C and Blue members yes. well Hard. enough to know if they were mm-hmm. in those dramas or not. Okay, so there's a match between the member and the drama, mm-hmm. and there's a one that's wrong. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So give us our choices. Okay. So listen carefully. <clears throat> one, Jung Yonghwa, and Minami Shineo. You're beautiful. And Lee Jong Hyun was in Shin Sae Pung Kyuk, A Gentleman's Dignity. Three, Kang Min Hyuk was in Pyeol Eso On Kude, My Love from the Stars. And four, Lee Jong Shin was in Yu Hok, Temptation. Oh, it's easy. Yeah, I feel like it's easy because a lot of these were very huge big. drama. Yeah. yeah, I watched huge. like. All of them. Yeah, me too. And even though they were a little bit later than I should have yes. watched them, I oh, did yeah. watch all of these. I think mm. the only one that I was able to actually catch on the real time mm-hmm. was "You're Beautiful," Bina mm. Mishinao. I think I just no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you probably tracked all the yeah. reruns. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, these are pretty big dramas. So mm-hmm. if you are into K dramas or not, yes, it, you probably came across the spoilers or yes. something mm-hmm. about the drama somewhere yes. online. Mm-hmm. So again, we're talking about C and Blue members. Yes. All right. So we need to figure out what you have to pick the wrong match between the members and the drama they were in. Wow, we're already getting answers. Oh, really? This is amazing. Is Are it we- correct? <gasps> yeah, they're right. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Okay, so huh. what are the choices? So the choices are, one, Jung yong was in Minami Shineo, You're Beautiful. Two, Lee Jong-hyun was in Shin Sae Pung Kyuk, A Gentleman's Dignity. Three, Kang min Hyuk was in Pyeol Eso On Kude, My Love from the Stars. And four, Lee jong Shin was in Yu Hok, Temptation. Mm. It's easy. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is fairly easy. Yeah. Mm. I think even if you didn't watch the drama, I themselves. just liked all of these dramas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of these dramas were a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had a little bit of cheesy factor in there, along yeah. with all of the other drama that was going on. Yeah, yeah. very. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but for some reason, you just kept wanting to watch. Oh it. yes. Oh, right. These are huge hits. Right. Huge hits. For a while, um, here on, like, the cable mm-hmm. channels, they were constantly doing reruns of a few of these. Mm-hmm. Like, constantly. Yeah. So even if you don't want to watch it, it's just, like, it's on. All the time. <laughs> you know, I now know why everyone's so, like, K-drama all the time. Because even yesterday, I was watching a Korean drama. And for some reason, even if I don't want to make any sounds, Oh, yeah. Like, you know how you're just sitting there and all of a sudden you're like, no, no, no. Right. really? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, turn around. Yeah. Turn around. No, don't. No. No. <laughs> I, I thought it was only me. <laughs> no, 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 no. And oh, then you're right. watching the drama like, oh, yeah, oh, 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 he's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that always happens. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what are our choices again for the last question? Okay, so you have to pick the wrong match between the members and the drama they were drama they were in. I keep saying drama. Um, so the choices are one, Jung Yong Ha was in Minami Shineo, You're Beautiful. Two, Lee Jong Hyun was in Shin Sae Pung Kyuk, A Gentleman's Dignity. Three, Kang Min Hyuk was in Pyeol Eso On Kude, My Love from the Stars. And four. Lee Jong Shin was in New Hope Temptation. Mm. Okay, all right. Well, it looks like oh, even though one of our listeners actually just said I didn't watch two of these dramas, but they're sending in the right answer. Oh wow. Okay, so yeah. it, it's actually I guess that easy. It's a giveaway. Yeah. Maybe because one of our listeners didn't watch two of these dramas, but they're still, still getting are. the right answer. Mm-hmm. Huh. So that means that you're probably already there. Yeah. Like if you think it's that answer, it's yeah, that it's answer. answer. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think you need to overthink it too much Mm -hmm. for this last one. I think the more you analyze it, the more you're going to get confused. Right. Yeah. So, uh, Tem, let's give them the choices one more time, and then we'll go to our last song break for today. Okay, so you have to pick the wrong match between the members and the drama they were in. Okay. And the choices are, one, Jung Yong-hwa was in Minami Shineo, You're Beautiful. Two, Lee Jong-hyun was in Shin Sae Pung Kyuk, A Gentleman's Dignity. Three, 
Kang Min Hyuk was in Pyeongdae's Eun Kudae, My Love from the Stars, and four, Lee Jung Shin was in New Hope, Temptation. Okay, so these out of these four, there's a wrong pairing with the member and the drama that they mm-hmm. were in. Uh, we're gonna take a listen to the last song break before we find out who the K-pop MVP is for this week. Uh, we've got for you, CM Blues track, Can't Stop. Good luck. It's three minutes fifty nine seconds, and we'll see you guys back after this with who's gonna take our peace sign CD. Okay, with that, oh wow, we're kind of overtime today. All right, so it's time yeah. for me to uh, help you find out who the winner is. But first, yeah. we have to find out the answer. Yes, yes. Okay, so what was the answer? The answer was number three is wrong. Mm. He was not in My Love from the Stars. He was in Airs. Yes. Mm. I yeah. really like that. Drama yeah, too. I really, I, I really <laughs> love that. Yeah, I mean, I was, he I was, was so cute with Crystal. Yes, and those yeah. two made like the cutest couple. Yes, like I want, I love that couple. Yeah, can't they date in real life? Like, <laughs> That's the cutest like, couple please. ever. Okay, so our winner for today is. It looks like they didn't uh, make a name for their ID. Mm-hmm. So their ID is I love talk times three from Singapore. The name that they Ooh. actually put in there is I love Punta. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations, you're our winner for today. We're congratulations. Giving, we're giving you RP Science CD. So, with the ID I love talk times three from Singapore, go over to our winner information board and we will be sending you your yeah. prize. Yay, congratulations. Yuna and uh, Tanyok of Active Musician teamed up for this track, thinking about you, Narsinga Kim. We'll see you two next week. Goodbye. Bye.